Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C Sharp tutorials. Most of the time, when the beginners start programming in C Sharp, they face a basic problem which even I faced when I was learning C Sharp is that uh, how can I open another form when I click a button? So, today I'm going to show you how you can accomplish that. So, for that, first of all, I'm going to need a form. Let me go to my solution explorer, right click my project, and I'm going to add a new item so I'm going to select Windows form and I'm going to keep the name as a form 2 I'm not going to change it and I'm going to hit add now when I hit add I'm going to get uh, to this new form I'm going to add a label over here this is not important I'm doing it just to uh, get a response or just to show a message new form so I want to open this form when I click a uh, button so I will go back back to my solution explorer and I will go back to my first form which is loading whenever I am running my application over here I am going to add a button and uh, okay so now let me say click me to open next form so now what I want to do is uh, when I hit this button I want my next form that is my form 2 to be open so let me double click over here and here I am going to write this dot hide this will hide my this current form with which I am working <coughs> <coughs> sorry and I'm going to create the object of my new form which I would like to show uh, whose name is uh, form 2 so let's let me give its object name as f2 equals new form 2 form 2's constructor and then I will say f2 dot show dialog now if I run this application and uh, uh, here is our form number one when I hit this button my the first form was uh, uh, got hided and my new form was visible to us form 2 was visible so uh, this is how you can open the new form by clicking uh, on a button but uh, if you close this you will see a problem did you notice that the problem is our application is still running because form 1 is just hidden to us it is still in the background but we can't see it so for that let me stop this process and let me add few more lines I will say this dot dispose to dispose any resources used by my form and after that I will say this dot close to close my form now this will permanently close my form if you run this application now I hit this button again my form is now closed it's not hidden it is now closed and now if I close this my execution stops so this is simply how you can show another from another forms from uh, a single form and uh, you need to add these two lines so first one to dispose any of the resources if your form is using and this one to close your form or to delete your form from the memory so hope you like the video and thanks for watching it